Hello and welcome back to Phenology Tikka. I am Srishti Jain, Chief Product Officer of Tikka and I'll be sharing a series of videos on how to use Tikka to pick great stocks. In our previous video, we have discussed various things about how to pick a stock using screener, sector, fundamentals, etc. So, let me ask you a question. If you find two companies, company A having high ROE and company B having high margins, which one will you choose? Well, confused right? We can't pick any one, we need more information. Okay, what if I say that the company A which has high ROE also has high debt and company B has say low ROE. Now, can you pick any one? If you pick company A, you get high return on equity. But if you pick company B, you get high margins. An intelligent investor will always choose company B. Why? Because company earnings high margin can convert it into high return on equity in future. But debt is a red flag. Now, one term is common in both. That is return on equity, ROE. In today's video, we will discuss about ROE in detail and find out if the ROE numbers company is showing is actually actually good or not because high ROE numbers doesn't always mean that it's good or vice versa. This we will understand by a DuPont analysis. Open ticker.philology.in. Let's find companies with high ROE quickly using our screener. Click on screener in the top menu. If you are not logged in, log in to use screener. Here enter the query ROE by 1 meaning latest year to be greater than 40%. We have discussed about how to use a screener in detail in one of our previous video. You can find the link on the top. Now when we click on run screener button, we get list of 244 stocks with high ROE. Let's open TCS and analyze. In the ratio section, we can see ROE is increasing in the last 5 years. What is ROE? Simply put, ROE tells us how much profit a company is generating from every rupee invested by its shareholders. One can also click on I button here to know the meaning of ratios. A higher ROE generally indicates better financial performance and efficiency in using shareholders fund. By the name, it suggests its return on equity. Return is equal to net profit and it is divided by equity to calculate ROE. Now, if we further bifurcate the formula, ROE can be seen as net profit margin multiplied by asset turnover to equity or leverage multiplier. Here, we can rule out the same numerator and denominator to get to the basic ROE formula. This gives you an idea on how ROE is derived. For example, if any company's margin is less but its asset turnover is high, then it can generate good ROE. Say you are selling 10 rupees pen at 20 rupees but twice a day, and another person is selling 10 rupees pen at 15 rupees but 5 times a day. So, the profit per pen of the second person is actually less but it's rotating its inventory that is asset again and again to generate a better profit and high ROE. Like this, a company can take more debt and show high ROE figures as its equity is less but in reality, one should check ROCE figures in such cases. Also. One can calculate net margin by calculating EBIT margin into tax burden into interest burden in total. So further, we have detailed 5-step formula to calculate ROE or 5 ways to decode what ROE the company will be having by checking all these ratios. This is known as DuPont analysis. DuPont analysis is used to evaluate the details of ROE. It allows us to know which activities contributes the most to the changes in ROE. Let's move back to TCS. We have seen good ROE numbers but don't know how they are coming. So, we need to check DuPont. Doing it manually will take a lot of time and we will have to calculate 5 other ratios in the formula just seen and then check. But ticker hai na? Ticker has inbuilt DuPont analysis table for all stocks except BFSI sector. Once you are logged in with your subscription, go to the news section and just above that, you will find DuPont analysis table. It is exclusively available for Philology 1 members. Here, we can see the table for the past 5 years of how ROE is calculated by analyzing we can see that the company's margin is decreasing, but the increase in asset turnover and leverage has boosted ROE figures. Let's check for one more company from our screener. I'm opening this lane new tab. In the ratio section, we can see that the company has a very high ROE figures increasing consistently. To know the reason behind its increase, we check the DuPont table. Here, the margins are stable and somewhat decreasing. Asset turnover is increasing slightly and the leverage has moved up very fast. So, we can conclude that real reason for such high ROE is high debt 
taken by Nestle in the recent years. This is not an entirely positive sign and one should check ROCE and other ratios for the company. Let's find one more company where margins are good but despite that ROE is low. Again, go to screener and run the query where EBIT margin is high and more than 30% and ROE of the company is between 1 to 10%. We get more than 300 companies in the result here. I am opening DLF from this list. In the ratio section, we can see that ROE is around 8% and average for the past 5 years is just around 5-6%. Now, let's check why ROE is so low from the DuPont table. Click on the news section from the navigation bar and scroll above it. Here, we can see that net profit margin is very good and increasing. However, the company's asset turnover and leverage multiplier is quite low, which is resulting in low return on equity for shareholders. So we can analyze that because it's a real estate company and selling one building again and again is not possible, it's resulting in low asset turnover and thus low ROE. One can also compare it to another real estate sector company and pick the best one which is able to command high ROE in such sector. That is all for today's video of decoding ROE with DuPont analysis. By analyzing ROE, one can compare companies and see who manages their resources most effectively. A high ROE, which is generally considered good, needs to be evaluated within the context of industry and company strategy. DuPont analysis helps you to go beyond financial statements. It provides you a comprehensive picture of company's profitability, efficiency, and ultimately its ability to generate returns for its investors. So, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe to Finlogy One to get access to DuPont analysis, valuation calculators, inbuilt common size statement and much more features. Comment below your doubts regarding DuPont and ROE and we will cover it in ticker. Like, share and subscribe to Finlogy Ticker for more such videos. Don't press to hit the bell icon too for quick updates. Thank you.